Welcome to What Are You Sporting About podcast, a podcast about business, employment, sports, and entertainment to help educate, support, and guide you to your next level. Here's your host, attorney Savania DeBarros. Hello, 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 social media world. This is another episode of What Are You Sporting About podcast with your host, Savania DeBarros, the protector of athletes. I'm also the founder of the SL DeBarros Law Firm, where I represent six and seven figure business businesses, um, and as well as athletes and business. So today's topic is have you celebrated yourself? Have you celebrated yourself? I want to share this message with you because it has, when I tell you, really been on my heart heavy this weekend about self-celebration, self-celebration, how important it is. So this weekend, prior to this weekend, I purchased a few cabinets to reorganize my office. So you guys all know we have been working from home for quite a while and I've been accumulating things and seeing where things needed to be uh, put up into a new home and organized. And so I ordered these cabinets and had been working on, you want, no, big guy, had been working on um, organizing those, organizing those materials. And you guys have to excuse me if you're listening to this or watching, I am working from home with the toddler today. <laughs> so that is the idea. I mean, hey, that's a working mom, right? So we're all doing it. And especially with women's history, you just never know. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. This is what we're doing. We're parenting and we're also being great. But anyway, so I ordered these cabinets and started putting my stuff up. And I saw envelopes of my law degrees and Supreme Court certificates for being uh, barred as an attorney, licensed as an attorney from Illinois, Wisconsin, Secretary of State certificates when I opened up my law firm, all types of things. And I had not hung them up. And so I start pulling them out of the envelopes. I'm sitting on the floor of my office here in this office and pulling them out. And then I said to myself, well, where are my other certificates or degrees and awards, honors, accolades, whatever? So I started searching for them, find them tucked away neatly into another cabinet in my office. I pull them out, I sit on the floor and I, I pull them out and I start reading everything and realizing how much stuff is there, how much achievements are there. So I go back to my high school memory book. I look through this memory book and I start to realize different things that I didn't even notice before. I realized and recognized uh, my dreams and aspirations that I had written for myself and how much came true. I realized how many things I had already been involved in in terms of being and creating that leadership quality that that I feel like I possess. Right. And I just started saying to myself, whoa. Why haven't you celebrated yourself? Why have you not celebrated yourself? So if you've seen me live on the on this podcast before, you've noticed that this wall behind me has been there. There's nothing there. There was nothing there. I've started to put up the things that have been tucked away neatly in my office. And I'm not even through yet, guys. I'm not even through yet, right? So there are some things that I need to hang up that I have not gotten to where I also need additional frames for. But what I started to notice was the room itself started to have a different aura to it. Achievements started to pop off of the walls. It's like the walls created a life of its own. And I realized I have not celebrated myself enough yet. Why have I not celebrated myself, right? Why have I not celebrated myself? And I think sometimes a lot of these conversations come back to a self-worth moment. For me, it was realizing that every time I talked about my achievements to someone, I felt like I was being compared to somebody else. So it was 
just took it away, right? Or if I talked about how great I felt as a person, how great I am as a human being, as a woman, as a mother that's doing this thing, it was, oh, you're not all that. So I took that away, right? Are we tucking our greatness away because we don't want other people to compare us? Or are we tucking our greatness away because we haven't yet recognized how amazing we are? You are amazing. You are absolutely phenomenal. And you deserve to be in the space that you're in. You see this this, uh, frame right here behind me that says, darling, you belong here. Let me tell you a little story about that. So I'm in a group with five other amazing women who are doing amazing things. And we started having these monthly meetings. And we're talking about issues with uh, Megan and how those issues relate to women, black women across this globe, right? We can have some of the same conversations. And one of the young women said, we need to start showing up and demanding our spaces in the places where we belong. She didn't say where we want to be, but where we belong. And sometimes I think when we fail to celebrate ourselves and the achievements that we've made, our achievements have come with sacrifices. When I decided to be a lawyer, I didn't know that I would miss birthdays and holidays and family outings and gatherings and all types of things. I didn't know I would miss that stuff, but it was a sacrifice for something greater that I knew I wanted for myself. And I never stopped to celebrate myself, right? I don't want to be compared to other people or I'm I'm tucking away my greatness because other people are downplaying my greatness. Well, guess what? Darling, you belong here. You belong here. I hope I'm speaking to some women here today because you deserve to be celebrated. I am done with tucking away my achievements, my accolades, my greatness, my amazingness, right? And you should be too. So what can you do to start celebrating yourself? Look through those photo albums. But when you look through them, look through them with a different lens. Like I said, I didn't even realize the achievements that I've made based on the dreams and aspirations that I wrote for myself that that is in my high school memory book. I didn't even realize it. And I accomplished, I would say, at least 90 percent of it. Right. I didn't realize how smart I really am. I've been telling myself, oh, well, you're not you're not that smart. Right. There's someone else that's smarter than you. But who makes a three point eight in law school? (laughs) I did. (laughs) I did. Right. I mean, it's absolutely amazing when we stop to really think about who we are and what we've accomplished just ourselves. You don't need to be compared to anyone else. And if other people try to compare you, then you need to cut that, cut that off because what they are doing is trying to subtract from your greatness and that's unacceptable. So remember that you belong here, right? Re, revisit your memory books and your photo albums and your degrees and your certificates and your awards and your honors and all types of things with a different lens and know you deserve to be here. You've sacrificed for this right? You are already amazing and you are great, but you need to continue to celebrate yourself. I think one of the reasons why I had never celebrated myself and my wins, right? Those achievements is because I was waiting on other people to celebrate. me. I was waiting for other people to say, oh, pat on the back, Savani, you did an amazing job. That didn't happen. That didn't happen, right? So we have to stand up for ourselves and celebrate ourselves and know that we are absolutely enough. We are enough. So I hope uh, that you guys get a lot out of this message today. Make sure that you follow me on prosportlawyer.com website. Get your book. What are you sporting about? One of the amazing things about this book, there is a, a portion in this book where I talk about being able to heal yourself, right? Recognizing the things that have happened to you in the past so that when it shows up in the future, you know what to do. You know how to stop becoming a pro-victim. And I think that conversation clearly aligns with the fact that a lot of us don't take the time to celebrate ourselves. We don't feel like we deserve it. We don't feel like we deserve it. We don't feel, not only do we not feel like 
we deserve other people to celebrate us, but it's showing up in our own self-worth. We're not taking the time to celebrate ourselves. And that's unacceptable. We have to show up for ourselves before other people will show up for us, right? And so remember that you belong here. Get the book, What Are You Sporting About? Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook at What Are You Sporting About? If you need legal services, definitely reach out to me at sldebarros.com. Again, this is attorney Savanya DeBarros, protector of athletes, and it is amazing and my honor to educate you, motivate you, and promote you to your next level. Ciao. Thanks for joining us this week on What Are You Sporting About? podcast. Make sure to visit our website, prosportlawyer.com, where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, or whatever your favorite platform is so you'll never miss a show. And while you're at it, if you found value in the show, we'd appreciate a rating on iTunes or iHeartRadio. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would help us out too. If you like the show, you might want to check out our book, What Are You Sporting About? Attorney Savania DeBarros is available for private consulting at S ldebarros.com. And remember, we're here to educate, support, and guide you in your journey to success because we're all sporting about something.